Hello. Today I'd like to show you how to do a little bit more of the free motion quilting that I do. I've been working on some placemats. You'll have seen this before. Um, I have done, for the main area, I've done some free motion quilting, which I call Meander Plus, which is meandering with a little shape. Now I showed you in um, my tips and techniques video number 007 how to do the Meander Plus with hearts. And then I've done this one as the Meander Plus, but instead of hearts, I've put some little wonky stars in there. And then I showed you in another video, in Tips and Techniques number 023, how I block out an area using some freezer paper. And today I'm going to show you what I'm going to do inside that area um, to make it a little bit interesting. I'm going to do a, one of the large wonky stars, we hope, and some mini meander in behind it. So we'll just get started with the star first. And I've got, it's free motion. Um, so I've, I've just got a lightweight thread on and I'm just going to start um, down the bottom and I'm going to start, it's just one of these wonky stars that you draw. Um, so the shape doesn't really matter as long as it fits inside the box. We're not trying to make it an exact shape. You could draw it on first, but I've just chosen to do it free. So here goes. So I'm going to start off with a little lock, a couple of little stitches in one place, and then I'm going to just go for it. I've done side one and then I'm going to come across and then I'm going to come down and then I'm going to go up and then I'm going to come all the way back down to the bottom again and there I have a very irregular shaped star and I don't need to take that out of the machine now I'm going to do a little mini meander in behind to flatten that area so that the star will become more obvious. So I'll just keep going from where I'm at now. So this is just a little me mini meander and I have shown you previously how to do meandering in tips and techniques number 003 um, but I'm doing it much smaller than I have done it in that video. see that I'm just doing this um, little mini meandering and what that does is flatten the area behind so that hopefully the star shape will stand out and become more obvious. So I'm just finishing off the last bit of the mini meander here around this star. uses in different sizes. It doesn't have to just be a meander or stipple. So there is my finished quilted placemat, which is, I think the star is showing up nicely because we flattened the area behind. And just a little bit of another idea for you for doing some machine quilting. Thank you.